I'm Shay Russell from Mining.com.au and I'm here at the Gold Coast Investment Showcase and sitting next to me is Julian Woodcock, the Managing Director of Viking Mines. Julian, I love it when people have toys to play with. Tell me, how does this become this? Yeah, Shay, so this is this is the rock that we're exploring for because this is a lot of iron in here, 35% iron, um, about 0.8% vanadium. We crush that up and we use magnets to separate it. This rock's magnetic itself, so the magnet sticks to that. Crush it up and uh, run it through a magnetic separator and we end up with this bag of black ground up powder. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from 35% iron, 0.8% vanadium to 60% iron, 1.4% vanadium. Also quite a bit of titanium in there. And then we take this bag, we basically put it in an oven at 1100 degrees, add a bit of soda ash, throw some water at it and you get out and eventually you end up with this, which is the vanadium pentoxide flake. So that's the vanadium at the end. And this is the product that Viking Mines is setting out to produce with their cane grass project. So we didn't even talk about what was so precious about this rock, but this is the vanadium oxide, the pentoxide that you yep. just said. Um, so now let's talk about your glorious cane grass project and where this is coming from. Yeah, so on the booth wall behind me, we've got um, Mount Magnets, which is in WA. We're about 60 kilometers away from Mount Magnet. Uh, the cane grass project is uh, vanadiferous titanomagnetite, which basically means a lot of rock with vanadium in it. <laughs> yes. um, the project's standing up very well. So we've demonstrated by throwing some preliminary economics at the project that we can uh, produce pits that around 60 million tons of ore across three or four, pro uh, three or four deposits. Uh, the main one is fold nose, 39 million tons. That would be enough for about a 20 to 30 year mine life. Wow, and um, you've got 60 million tonnes in total. Yeah, yeah. So we've got plenty of resources uh, at this stage, which are looking positive. We're now focusing on the metallurgy. So not just this process to get to the vanadium, but also how can we get value for the iron? Because there's a substantial amount of value of iron there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got the titanium I mentioned. We're just starting some new test work to look at how we can recover the titanium. Uh, and in addition, we've got copper, nickel and cobalt, which so yes, there's a whole polymetallic deposit. The trick will be unlocking the, the geochemistry and the metallurgy to be able to work out how to get the value for all of those commodities. Uh, this is an incredible growth story, especially too, that when you picked up the cane grass uh, project a couple of years ago, you've increased the size of the resource in less than 18 months, haven't you? Yeah. And now you're going to be finding more minerals than what you bargained for. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's ticking all the boxes on the way. Um, we've done all the work in-house. Uh, we've seen it grow. Um, next step will be to crack the metallurgy into a higher level of detail and then also in, uh, increase the resource confidence by doing some more drilling. So we're looking at doing that later this year. This is incredible. So obviously that's going to happen later this year, but what are we? What can we get to hear next? I mean, I know everybody would love to sit here and play with the magnetic rocks because that is a lot of fun, but what are we going to hear from Viking Mines in the next couple of months? Yeah, so the test work to try and get the titanium out, that's underway, so we should see some news flow from that. Um, we're looking to refine the vanadium and get a higher purity and produce an electrolyte. Uh, if we if we get that part done, we'll have some even better things to show you. They're bright blue and green coloured liquids. Oh wow! Um, which is the electrolyte, which goes into the vanadium redox flow batteries, which is a lot of growth in that sector. Um, and also, hopefully, producing a sulphide concentrate for the copper, nickel, and cobalt. In addition to that. As I say, looking to maybe start drilling and then there'll be assays coming through from that, which will give us more news for. So you're not talking about just mining, but you're talking about the metallurgical process as well. Um, that, that's just incredible. I had no idea that this project has uh, grown so quickly into an absolute beast of a polymetallic project. Uh, listen, Julian, I can't wait to see what happens next for you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.